Last video, I showed you how I created a macro keypad from scratch. Today, I'll take it a step further by printing a case and modifying its acoustics, changing it from this hollow sound to this deeper profile. I created my design in Fusion 360 by first importing a step file of the PCB. The base secures the PCB in the case. The plate holds the switches in place with additional support structures between itself and the PCB. We have the main body that attaches to the base and uses M2 screws to hold everything together. The threaded inserts go in here and screws into the base. There's also a USB-C slot hole for the cable and a hole on top for microcontroller boot and reset buttons. After printing all the components, we need to add the threaded inserts. We need 10 of each, threaded inserts and M2 by 4mm screws. Now that the two parts are completed, I can screw everything in. Next, I add the plate and switches. The rest of the case snaps on and we can flip it over to screw everything together. I also add silicone feet. I use the silicone sheet for electronics and a leather hole puncher. We get 8mm feet and we need 4 of them. This is what it sounds like so far, but I'll compare all three versions at the end. The first modification is PE foam between the switches and PCB to dampen vibrations. I put the switches and plate back together. You can see the PE foam between the switches and PCB. My last modification is adding sound deadening material to the base. These mats are used in cars, so if they can dampen road vibration and noise, they should work for my keyboard. The sound deadener will stick here and under the PCB. I'm supposed to use a roller to pack down the mat, but this works too. As long as the result is flat, then it's applied properly. Let me know which sound profile you like the best, and I hope you enjoyed the video.